during the session, if you can all keep on being muted, it will be appreciated because extraneous noises does cause slight problems with the, with the transmission of what we're actually here for. And uh, if you've got anything, any questions at all you want to ask, please do so via the chat. That's the uh, button at the bottom of your screen which says chat. If you use open up that, it'll bring up a message box somewhere on your screen. You can type in your message, hit return, you send it to everyone. We can all see what we want to what, what you're wanting to ask. Sorry, I was breaking the teeth in for the dog. Um, we've now got 48 people in the room. The time is now one o'clock, and so I'm going to hand you over all to Ellis, who is going to make a big announcement. Thank you, Ellis. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Um, yeah, so we've got a, another big announcement to make today. It's going to be the uh, third one that um, we've made ourselves uh, as Ellis Clark Trains under our brand name. Um, I can still see it's filling up a little bit, so I'm going to just uh, stall it a little bit with a little bit more inane chatter, if you like, <laughs> about what it's going to be. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be our third announcement, as I say. It's, uh, again, designed by ourselves and manufactured by ourselves. Um, we, as with all our projects, the time that goes into the detail and the, the research stage and everything like that is pretty critical as we're always aiming for more and more detail. Um, so everything on this model, as you'll see from the CADs that I'll be directing you to in a couple of minutes, is, uh, is pretty superb. So uh, still seeming to be filling up quite a bit. So I'll, uh, I'll try and stall a little longer. Um, Ellis, do you need to screen share? Pardon? Do you need to screen share? I don't. No, no, no. Okay. I'll be directing everyone to the website when I click, uh, as long as there's no technical glitches when I click uh, post in a minute. Excellent. Well, we've now got 66 in the room. It is filling up nice and steadily. Right. Well, I'll make the announcement now then if uh, it looks like it's filled up. Perfect. Okay, so our third product then that we are doing for LA's Clark Trains is Wickham, Wickham Trolleys and Trailers in, uh, in fine scale low gauge, of course. Fantastic. So I'm just going to go click a couple of buttons now. This and set that to. So Ellis has just announced Wickham Trolleys and Trailers. And we, we still more people are coming into the room. And all being well, they should now be going live on the website as we speak. Let me just double check. I'm sorry, I'll come back into shot. Yep, they're all going live now. They're all live. There we are. So, yeah, if you didn't quite catch that, for those who have just joined, our announcement is Wickham Trolleys and the trailers that go behind them. Uh, I've just clicked li uh, live on the website, so if you go to ellisclarktrains.com, you'll, uh, you'll see under our ECT projects uh, at the top of the page, if you hover over that, you can click on either Shop Wickham's or you can click on the projects page to get all the information about them. Uh, but I've posted uh, plenty of um, CAD images that you can go have a look through there. Um, so I suppose the, the main information then, we're doing four different liveries initially. That's going to be BR Maroon, SR Green, BR Yellow, and Engineers Yellow with the uh, wasp stripes on the front, which is like the more modern image um, livery of the four, if you like. Uh, the price is going to be $159.95 each. That includes a uh, Wickham trolley and an accompanying trailer. And we're also going to sell uh, the trailers separately for $34.95 each. So you can, you can uh, as was sometimes, um, as sometimes happened, there'd be more than one uh, trailer behind a Wickham to carry all the tools, all the bits and bobs. Um, so there we are. That is, uh, that is our announcement. And obviously I can take any questions, anything you'd like to ask. Um, I suppose that I, I'm going to get the specification one. It, we're going to do it with a die cast uh, chassis and it's got a plastic top. Uh, there'll be directional lighting on it, micro LED directional lighting on it. 
Um, as you'll see from the CADs, if you're having a look on the website now on ellisclarktrains.com, the, uh, the detail on it, again, as we always go for at the moment, is um, ultra fine and we've pushed it as far as we possibly can. So uh, if, you, if people want to have a look and if you want to start asking questions, fire away. Well, I'll, I'll start off with one for you, Ellis. Yep. Is it, is it uh, is there facilities on it for DCC? There is. Yeah, it'll be, sorry, yeah, it'll come DCC ready. And uh, what about for sound? Will there be room for a speaker there? We looked at that. Um, not yet, to be honest with you. Uh, it is... <laughs> The problem with the Wickham is it is so tiny that uh, even just fitting a motor gearbox in there's um, difficult. We've put the motor, we've got the motor gearbox in the actual um, Wickham trolley as opposed to the trailer, so it is going in the trolley. But um, we haven't actually found a way to fit a speaker unless you attach one underneath the roof, if you like, and try and hide the wire as best you can. At the moment, it'll just be DCC fitted. You'd be able to do with a small chip um yeah not dc sound yet okay well we, we have got started to get some questions coming in Alyssa, i don't know you've seen it yeah says, okay the trailers trailers need some weight added this shouldn't no they'll be they'll have a die cast chassis to them so this should be self-weighted i'd imagine um it does it does um mean there's a nice little option um for um, adding tools and bits and bobs in, into the trailer. You can, uh, you can sort of throw things like that to add a bit of weight. Um, I'm sure they just carried all sorts in there. Some coke sandwiches, probably the kettle, cup of tea to work on the railway for the day. So yeah, uh, is, it'll make some, uh, it'll be great for, um, for a bit, there'll be some really good modeling opportunities basically with them. Um, and you, you could always add a, a bit of extra weight by putting, um, as I say, bits and bobs in the trailer if you wanted to. And you can always put figures in as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The the uh, the the seated in real life uh, eight personnel, so um, they look great with uh, railway workers um, fitted in them, especially in our gauge because they were mostly all kept open sided anyway, even though they got different ones got modifications through the life that were usually open-sided. So, uh, yes, yeah, so you could, it'll be a great opportunity to put some figures in there. That'll be good. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting some more questions here. Um, what are the dimensions of the trolleys? Uh, in all honesty, I don't know the exact dimensions off the top of my head now. Um, I can get that. I should have had that ready. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll get that. I'll ask, uh, I'll ask Nicky, my CAD designer to, uh, to message, um, message me and uh, she'll know the dimensions exactly of that. Well, if you can put um, them on the forum, it would be helpful. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, I'll get, I'll get that. I can get that. And I've just seen Peter Arnold say, he's just pre-ordered a green one. Brilliant, that's the first pre-order there. <laughs> Thank there you. It's worked already as this session. <laughs> yeah. So, the, the next question is, of course, is, um, when are they due to be? Uh... Of course, of course. So they'll be uh, quarter one of 2022. So there'll be a few months after the Black Fives have arrived. Right then. And so so we're, talk we're talking 15 months time. So in 15 to 18 months time, is that what we're looking at? We are, yeah. We're giving ourselves a bit of extra time on this one, if you like, to make sure um, we've got it all right and with possible interruptions as well uh, mm -hmm. next year. So yeah, we, we've, um, we're pretty confident it should be quarter one 2022 on these. Um, yeah. And um, the other thing is, uh, where has it been manufactured, please? Uh, that'll be done in China. That will be manufactured in China. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, will you be uh, checking them and repacking them when they get here? Yeah, we always, uh, we, I mean, the, to be honest, the factories are fantastic for quality control. And we, uh, like with our Darstead coaches uh, that we do with Darstead, um, when we get stuff like that, we, we, you, we do check them. But the, the quality the factories are putting out now is, um, is so good. And they, they so thoroughly check them before they send them out anyway. But yeah, we will also be checking them as well. Yeah. Can I ask what, uh, what wheel profiles 
have you used? Have you used the, the Guild Standard one or the Course 5 profile or what? We've gone for, yeah, we go for the Guild Standard. Uh, guild Standard in back to back and everything like that. The wheels are lovely, actually. They're a, they're a, they're a right little niche um, design on them, on the Wickhams. Uh, Nikki spent a lot of time trying to get the wheel shape and everything uh, right on those. Um, yeah, they look really good to the wheels. Will you be able to move the wheels outwards for those that are interested in scale seven? Uh, probably just a bit too early to say on that at the moment. Um, we always like the idea of making our stuff as adaptable and interchangeable as possible. It, it always comes down to the manufacturing capabilities of it. We, we speak to the um, Scale 7 uh, Society. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting uh, my, my glamorous assistant here saying that we, we should actually be able to do it. <laughs> we just got there. <laughs> Just getting messages now and feeding them up. So we should we should actually be able to do it. Yeah. That Thank you very much, Alice. No problem. Has anybody got uh, any other questions? Please don't be frightened to ask. Uh, maybe too early to ask for other varieties in the future, such as the closed body, uh, sided body. Yeah, we're looking at the other ones we can do in the future. We always look at, um, it might it might be quite a bit in the future if we do something like that. We'd like to do something with the curtains that were sort of drawn up and dropped as well. Uh, the, with the Wickhams in, as well, paint schemes as well, there were so many, uh, they got adapted so much. Um, so it, that's the other thing actually, like I say, they make a fantastic little modeling opportunity. Uh, a nice little thing uh, to have on your railway that you can, you know, you can do things too. You can further them and things like that. Someone's asking, uh, what's the minimum radius that, that they're likely to be able to go around? They'll go around second radius, no problem. They'll be fine on second radius. So yeah, uh, Pico second radius, um, is it 40 and a half inch um, that they'll go around, no problem. Right, somebody's asking that the very sorry, but they missed the beginning of the video. Um, can yep. she see the product again? Um, yeah, no, you haven't got the product with you, have you? I it's haven't. On your website, it's, so it's on the website on ellisclarktrains.com, uh, and it's Wickham Trolleys that was the announcement and the accompanying trailers as well. Got to say that. Um, so yeah, they're all on the website um, in terms of CAD images pre-order information, release dates, everything like that as well. So you can, you can catch that. Uh, like I said, we got, we've got um, CAD renders for all the, uh, the different liveries as well. So uh, yeah, going to look up. Yeah, somebody's saying, yeah. did they run in BR's Western region? It, it, uh, that's where they ran more than anywhere, to be honest with you. So yeah, they did run in BR Western region, yeah. Um, there's actually, um, there's a few pictures of preserved ones. I can't remember which railway it was on now. It's just left me, but uh, where they've been painted in chocolate and cream livery as well. Uh, they look really good in that. But on the, yeah, on the Western region, they had them in the maroon livery. There's been a couple of questions relating to your Thompsons. Yeah. Um, yeah. When, when, when's the estimated delivery on those? Yeah, so we're looking at, so we did push it back because we, um, with Dar said we improved them more. Uh, we're looking at a uh, quarter one next year, probably February. We're hoping just before Chinese New Year, we'll get the first delivery. And it is going, the first delivery is going to include um, the Elizabethan sets. Um, so yeah, so we're looking at um, just before Chinese New Year, which will be February time, February, March time, that will get delivery on. That's brilliant. Um... Just re reiterating what you said, that's £159.95 for the trailer and trolley. Yep. £34.95 for the trailer. <laughs> I think it, those are VAT inclusive prices, are they? They are. Yes. Yeah. They are. Yes. Yeah, so for extra, if you wanted to add extra trailers, so that'd be a second and a third, four, fifth, six, seven, uh, then uh, they, there'd be a, an extra £34.95 each if you wanted to add more. But as standard, we'll supply each. Um, Wickham with a, with a trailer. That's absolutely brilliant. Just want to say that uh, to everybody that we are remaining muted apart from myself and Ellis, so we can hold a conversation. We found that in the past that if, there's, if you're unmuted, you can get 
doorbells ringing, dogs barking, and it interferes with the uh, with the display because uh, it only shows the person that's speaking. If you're on speaker view, and uh, if the doorbell rings, it thinks that somebody's speaking. So if it, if it no remain muted, it would be helpful. And if you want to ask a question, but uh, yeah, and you put it onto the chat. And I noticed somebody's put on that uh, seven valuable chocolate, chocolate and cream. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, the great western chocolate and cream. It looks great. It looks really good. It looks, it's a nice little livery that. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I've got uh, trolley dimensions. Here we are for the trolley. Um, think here we are. Uh, yeah, trolley. So the length of it's fifty millimeters or fifty point two by. I think it. Hang on a minute. Let me just see. I've got a few messages coming in. Let's make sure I don't get this wrong. Um, so it's forty-eight by sixty-seven for the. Hang on. Tell you, what, maybe one second. Can you just confirm that for me? I'll uh, give me five minutes. I'm just going to make sure I'm not giving the wrong uh, <laughs> the wrong dimensions on it. Um, we do have another question coming about your black fives. Could yeah. You consider scale seven. Already considered. We're. Uh, we're working with the Scale Seven uh, Society on something there, um, so we want we want to make it as um, yeah as user friendly as possible. And things can't say exactly what that will be yet, but there will be a way. Um, as I say, we're working with them throughout uh, throughout that project. So um, That's brilliant. It, it, Scale Seven will definitely be a possibility. Yeah. Uh, when do you expect to have a first engineering prototype uh, Black 5 in for assessment? Um, I would say probably about six months, it'd be something like that. Um, that About six months, I would say. Um, I've actually got an engineering prototype underneath here to show you as well of uh, something which came in yesterday. So um, I'll be showing that as well. Um, yeah. But, um, on the black five. Go ahead. Right. Okay. Well, uh, late on yesterday, um, and oh, here we are. Um, Wickham Wickham dimensions. Uh, the Wickham is forty-eight by sixty-seven millimeters, and the trailer is sixty-four by forty-two millimeters. So that's the dimensions of the Wickham trailer and the uh, trolley on there. Uh, anyway, back to what we've got here. So under this nice little rag, uh, we've got um, our first um, engineering prototype of the press flows. Uh, this is undecorated and we literally just got it yesterday. So um, I'll show you what we got, but we are, we're really impressed with how they've come out. So here we are. So this is our first engineering prototype of, uh, of one of the press flows. Uh, the best parts are the underneath. You can see some of the detail we've got there, and the pipe work and the different brake rodding. We've got the metal chassis, obviously, for weight as well. Um, all the sprung, uh, sprung buffers are there. Um, on the top, we've got all the detailing for the walkway. We've got we've got a few minor adjustments we'll be making to improve uh, the look, but we've got all the um, all the ribbing is there as well on the um, on the hopper sides. Um, as you can see, we've got all the pipe work, hand levers. Um, we've got the sprung axle boxes as well there, and everything. And as I say, the, the great thing is they come apart and together so easily just by two screws there. And you might not be able to see them, but there's another two there as well. So you can take uh, the hopper off the, uh, the chassis completely. Uh, the way they've gone together as well is they are incredibly detailed, but they're so robust. I mean, a lot of these parts sort of conjoin and give one another strength. Um, so as you can see, lots of detail, but robust as well. It's so. absolutely brilliant. We've had uh, various different comments saying it looks good and looks great. Um, 
Any chance of doing a green wagon in the future? Green wagon. It's, uh, we've been asked. <laughs> it's, it's on a list of things we've been asked for, definitely. So uh, it's something we'd look at. Um, yeah, we've got, uh, we'll have more announcements next year, uh, no doubt. Um, but um, yeah, it's something we'd love to do. The, the, to be honest with you, we've, had, we've got a list of about 30 different wagons that uh, uh, people have requested. Um, so the, the, there's a lot to choose from still in Ogre, a heck of a lot. Yeah. Well, that's, that's fantastic, the, uh, the number of different products that you are doing. So when will the press float be uh, available for sale? So that should be uh, February, March time. We should have the uh, all liveries February, March, they should be in. Uh, we, we should have decorated samples probably in a, uh, maybe just before Christmas. Um, um, and yeah, we'll probably get one of the popular liveries done in that. We'll probably get the, um, uh, the blue circle yellow uh, livery in that. Um, as a sample there and obviously this one's without any advertising boards on at the moment so you can see all the uh, ribbon underneath which is I mean the detail on that is uh, it's all as I say it's all there it's got uh, this one's one of the ones with the single um, tank as, oh, there, as, as you can see there um, but yeah uh, so but we should actually have them ready for sale um, in, um, in uh, February March time and, and can you remember exactly how much they were going to be? Yes, they're sixty nine ninety nine each. Sixty nine ninety nine each. Yeah, that's that's superb. And so February, March, we're all going to be skinned. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. That, that sounds like it's a good deal for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Alice. Uh, has anybody else? Oh, somebody said uh, scale seven wheel options for press flow. <laughs> um, again, to be honest with you, the press laws is a really difficult one um, in whether we, as you can see, because of the detail underneath and how close it is to the wheels and the brake, I mean, anything is scale sevenable, if you like, but the press laws might need a bit more work than other things to, um, to make, yeah, to make them work, if you like. Um, we will be doing our cell scale, uh, scale seven options on those. Uh, How do the wheels come out on the press floor? Uh, do you know what? I haven't actually uh, taken one apart yet. Um, so in terms of how the wheels will actually come out. Um, Sorry for throwing you a low bowler. No, 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 no. I want you to... Um, I think it's going to be a case of taking um, the bottom of the axle boxes, um, taking the rodding off and sliding them down. Um, I'd imagine that's going to be the best way. Um, I'm just having a look. No, hang on. I tell the light. My uh, CAD designer has put two screws on each of the axle boxes, so the axle boxes on screw. Excellent. There we are. So easy than you think. So that, that won't be such a difficult job to change. You no, know, we again, um, what we always try to do is uh, with all our products, we want, you know, we, we want to make them as um, easy to basically, I mean, we do, we've got Neil uh, full time in house who does weathering for us and that always has done on the Darstead coaches as well. Um, and working with Darstead closely, what we've always done and what they've always done with their coaches is made them so they'll come apart and go back together really easily. Um, and also without damaging anything as you take it apart. So, you know, screw assembly where possible, where it's not going to affect detail is what we go for. Um, and yeah, with these wagons, like I say, with the hopper, same things like that. If you want to weather it, they'll come apart easily to weather and we do that for ourselves as much as anything um nikki mccad designer always has a good chat with neil when she's designing or at the early stages and she's like okay what would make it easiest for you to weather this when uh, when you inevitably get hundreds upon hundreds of people wanting uh, cement splattering down um down the hoppers so uh yeah um so yeah, that 
we always like to try and make them um, easily um, uh, detachable or yeah to come apart basically. Well, that's that's very very that brilliant. Um, so your announcement today was the Wickham trolley. It was. And its trailer, uh, which you're doing in initially four different liveries. Yeah. And that's on your website live now. It is, yeah. Um, yeah. And then you've now got your press flows where you've actually got your uh, engineering master, as it were, to, uh, to, to look at. Yeah. And they should be in the shops next March, April, May time. Uh, February, March, the press floors, yeah. yeah. Oh, February, March, as early as that. That's brilliant. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we're on, we're on track. We're on track. On track. Well, has anybody else got any uh, other questions for Alice? They seem to be slowing down to the questions now. We've had lots and lots of good questions from people. And thank you very much for taking part. And um, people are saying, great, thank you. Um, that's absolutely super. Well, I think you've done a great job, Ellis. Uh, I like all the, all the product. It's a really good product. Oh, thank, uh, you. Right, thank you. Right price. Um, yeah, we always try to do we always try to do the best we can on uh, price, keeping it fair. Yeah. Uh, and I'll look forward to uh, my sticking my hands in my pockets for one of them Wickham trolleys. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyone anyone uh, have any uh, other questions at all? Can be anything at all. Um, before, uh, yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you under lockdown in the shop as well at the moment, or are you still uh, managing to stay in tier one? Um, we're just moving up tiers. I think. I think we're due to the the, the showroom's allowed to be open at the moment. Uh, but yeah. Who knows? Uh, who knows? Um, a Thompson Blue and Grey Buffet. <laughs> we, we looked at those. They're, um, they're a niche thing. Really nice, but we haven't got any plans at the moment to do those. Um, it might just be a bit too niche, the Blue and Grey Thompson Buffets at the moment. And any plans for Thompson Suburbans at any stage? Not at the moment, but um, as I said, there's so many different coaches and wagons left to do in old age yet that, um, yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're one on our list that we've been asked for a number of times. So uh, Never say never. Never say never. Yeah. Uh, someone says next local question mark. <laughs> That's a, throw that in there to try and get me to do another announcement. Yes, yes. Not saying anything yet. You're doing right. <laughs> Nothing You're doing yet. Not in yet. <laughs> Maybe it's our next virtual show then. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Because yes. yeah. I'm sure there will be another one. Don't yeah. know when yet. Southern Coaches. Again, it's on our it's on our list. It's on our list of ones we've been asked for. That that's the problem is that's the problem with ready to run OK. It's not like double O where majority of things have been done in double O, so you look for oddball in no gauge, you still got a uh, so many of the icons, so many of the big ones um, that haven't been touched yet. So, um, yeah. So, uh, well, you've got yeah, quite yeah. a huge range already, haven't you? Yeah, and it, it's constantly expanding and we'll be working with Darstead for a good number of years and we've got loads of plans with themselves as well. So, um, you know, to, together with the, our ranges complement each other and that's the great thing about it. Um, so, yes, we've got, we've got some sort of, bigger plans really moving forward so it's uh, yeah it's going from strength to strength definitely definitely absolutely brilliant well i wish you all the best yeah and thank you very much for coming and joining us today it's been very good of you uh, and i thank all our audience for coming and joining and taking part uh, and uh, if, unless there's any more questions um i think we'll call that uh, complete for today Brilliant. Thank you everyone for coming and watching. Thank you, uh, Tony and Peter, for hosting as well. Nice to see you all. And also, Thank you very much. I'll just say hi to Andres, who's in the top right corner from Darstead as well. So he's been uh, he's been watching as well. Thank you very much. That's it. Take well, care, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye. And continue to enjoy the show for the rest of the day. And if you missed any bits, don't forget, 
It is all being recorded, so you can go back and dip in any time you like over the next course, course of the next two weeks. And I will get these teeth sorted out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheerio. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.